Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for July 1st through July 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. We are almost out of eclipse season, so we'll have a third and final eclipse on uh, next Sunday, July 5th. So hang in there. Things have been incredibly intense. Um, be patient and understanding with others right now because I, I just feel like we're all a little bit on edge and being squeezed from the inside out. So um, also for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I have clients all over the globe at this point. Um, this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below has all the information on the website about the distance energy healing and therapy. Uh, you can read the testimonials, definitely uh, read about my story and getting here and the benefits of the energy therapy for you. Uh, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you. It's a really good time to be having any sort of energy work done because it's really going to just help cleanse and clear and, and help you to let go of things and move forward with all the cosmic support we have right now of kind of letting go of the old and stepping into a whole new chapter, part of our life, um, era, whatever you want to call it. So again, all the information is below. Um, I'm also offering a limited, very limited number of personal readings. So the link is below for that as well. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for July 1st through July 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so we'll just get into it. Okay, interesting. Starting out with the Seven of Cups which is a card of confusion and not really knowing where to put your energy, your effort, and your time. So you could be a little bit confused on what's real, what's not real, what you want, what you don't want. Um, it's like can be a contemplative state as well. And it's interesting because that showed up with 10 of pentacles followed by the four of pentacles. So with the Ten of Pentacles in the center and then the two cards around it of a little bit um, more like limited energy, pulling back, you know, protecting, and then with the not, you know, unclarity or not being clear, you could really be examining what it is that you want long term with this Ten of Pentacles energy, which is marriage and stability and financial stability. Uh, stability within a relationship and maybe you're not sure what it is that you want anymore and with this full moon and eclipse in Capricorn uh, coming up on July 5th it is kind of well you're gonna feel it feel it the most since it's in your sign but it is forcing us to look within and to get clear of what it is that we want where are we holding back? Why are we holding back? What is it that we're missing? Because the eclipses are trying to clear away things that are not in alignment with your highest good and your deepest desires and wishes for your life. So you could really, Capricorn, be examining and trying to figure this out. Let me see what else I've got here. Because the Four of Pentacles energy is very protected. It's like, you know, not wanting to invest or put time, energy, effort, or any resources into anything. It's very much a, a card of protection, self-protection. Ah, okay. This is making sense. You could have had a disagreement or an argument or a falling out with this person. So if you are in a relationship or dealing with somebody, so this judgment card really brings um, forgiveness, dealing with situations, things, people that need some attention and some awareness 
um, in our life. So it's really a card of forgiveness as well. It's a card of healing a relationship and making a fresh start. So you really could have been confused because of something that has happened within your relationship or with the person that you are dealing with. Because again, with eclipse season, all of us are being affected. We're all being forced to kind of look within and look at patterns. Because after the judgment card, the two cards that fell out together is the sun and the queen of swords. Sun card brings clarity, happiness, joy. Queen of swords is a second chance. So you're going to have a reconciliation or some sort of apology or forgiveness that is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness and a, a second chance or another chance at this love, okay, at this love that you could already be dealing with. So um, I've got Leo energy out here, also uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords. Don't get too caught up on the signs. I feel this is more so a message around the relationship and giving it a second shot as well as very clear and honest communication with the person that you are dealing with, Capricorn. But this is really positive because whatever you are unclear of or questioning here, the sun card comes in and cleans all of that up. And you have the sun card in the center of your reading. So there's a lot of emphasis on clarity coming in for you. Yes, okay, I've got Emperor and Ace of Swords, so a brand new beginning here with the Emperor. I kind of feel the Emperor is your energy here, Capricorn. So whatever you were confused or whatever was taking away your power, I feel like you've gotten that back, maybe with this clarity that has been coming through for you, and it's giving you an opportunity for a brand new start, a fresh start with this Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords can also really cut through any BS and bring clarity and truth and very clear communication. And with the Emperor energy, it's looking at a really long-term, more stable energy, similar to this Ten of Pentacles, which is long-term and stable. And the last card out is Seven of Pentacles. So this is a card of patience planting the seeds and then letting things grow, letting things come to fruition. So I kind of feel like you are having a fresh start at this relationship that you're in, or if you're not in a relationship, it's somebody new coming in for you. And it's going to really grow into something long term, but it's going to require patience because with the earth energy of the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles, it's going to move a little slower than maybe you're hoping for or than maybe your partner is hoping for. Um, because Queen of Swords energy is like, once the decision's made, it's like, let's just go there. You know, why are we moving so slow? But I feel with the Emperor and the Earth energy in this reading, it might move a little bit slow. And I think that's okay because it's really going to have a solid foundation. It's growing upon a solid foundation. So this is actually a really beautiful reading, Capricorn. Like you're you're cleaning up any confusion within yourself in regards to love and a relationship. The eclipse is helping you to let go of whatever that is. I see forgiveness and a lot of clarity and communication coming in for you. And a second chance or another chance, you know, to really build something with this person. It could even just be like a new phase or a new chapter that you're moving into with this person. Okay, let me see if there's any last, whoop, there it is. The last message for you is retreat. 
So yeah, it's similar to this Four of Pentacles energy. You have to kind of pull back sometimes to get the clarity and to hear those messages coming through. So it's really just allowing the space, giving yourself the space for that to happen. But this card tells me that you're on the right track because things are going to be moving and the more you can just surrender and allow it, the easier it's going to be for you. So take a step back. Let the universe show you the way. Okay, let me pull one more message, a spirit animal message here for you. Okay, your message, your spirit animal message is coyote, revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. Beautiful last message. So yeah, with some of this energy, especially with, you know, the energy of an eclipse can be quite heavy. So try to keep things lighthearted. You know, you are being guided. You are being supported. The sun will really help you bring in some joy and playfulness as well. So I think that was a pretty spot on message for you. So again, Coyote, revealer of truth. The truth is what's in the heart and soul. So that came through on the retreat card as well. So, all right, Capricorn, I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter. Thank you for the comments below the video. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy, healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, I have clients all over the world at this point. This is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. So the link below to my website has all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can absolutely read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and you will see I have an awesome 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. Um, and I also am offering a very limited, very, very limited number of personal tarot readings. So the link is below. If it says sold out, just keep checking back. I'm only adding them as I'm able to do them. Okay. So I think that's it Capricorn. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest, uh, start to July and I will see you back here for the second half of July readings. Take care.